hey y'all it's Sykeena Beauty I'm here and back with another video this video is on my Sephora haul great things I bought and your girl came quick with receipts and this is gonna be a first impression I've never tried this brand before and I have one little mini surprise but I'll keep that to the end cuz I'm gonna have another video for that I can't wait! <laughs> so let's get started all right you see me over here eating I went and got dinner at the fabulous, at the fabulous Nando's. I love Nando's. I've been on this Nando kick ever since me and my Uber, like, established that Nando's is amazing. I've been there, like, consistently. Mm, so I do apologize if you see me chomping away. I'm so silly for thinking this would work. I'm trying to get in this box. I don't want to use my nails. My nails are already brittle as it is. Don't try that at home, folks. Ooh, I'm drinking pineapple lemonade. It's the best lemonade. I prefer it over strawberry. So good. Yummy. So let's get into what we got. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I feel like I say this for every video, but I'm. that's how much I like doing this stuff because I like showing you what I get. I feel like this is so cropped, a side lopped, so I'm going to. This is like my lazy girl hairstyle when I don't feel like doing my hair. This is what y'all are gonna get. Okay. I feel like I just messed up the curls, but now it's not like croppy. Yay! No crop crops. My total came out to be, it does not say. Okay, it doesn't tell me my total, but I think I spent around $30 in total. That was plus shipping. So I think everything in total was $25, I believe. Don't quote me. Ah, and they gave me a free a gift. I used their code for it. I will link the code in this video of what this code is. Ah, and this is a good amount size, even though it's the travel size. I'll tell you guys about that but let's get started so I wanted to try a new skincare the stuff I've been using isn't really all that great um, you guys have seen a previous video I've been using the crop it's a hyaluronic acid infused moisturizer I got it from Marshall's I'm not really feeling it I feel like it it's basic and I feel like it's not benefiting my skin and I, from time to time, do use the all-in-one egg mellow cream. I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't think I care. I'm not crazy about the ingredients on it. It's very, like, chemical-based. Yeah, very chemical-based. So I don't even know why I picked this up. I do like that it really doesn't have a fragrance, but I feel like it does have a fragrance in here. I'm not seeing one, but yeah, I don't know why I picked this up. It was like in Target. You know when you're in Target and you just see everything and you just buy everything that you think looks cool? That was one of those days. I'll just get into what I got and, and I'll see what I've been using. I'll show you guys what I've been using before. Ha <laughs> ha So this is The Ordinary. I've been so psyched to try this brand. I've been wanting to try this brand for a very, 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 very long time. 
their website is so confusing i'm gonna be super super honest with you very confusing so on their online store the ordinary i believe .com, it is not international shipping so i'm just adding things in my cart and i'm just like yeah okay but then when i go to check out it all disappears and i was just like what's going on it doesn't tell you they don't ship to america maybe it does but it's kind of hard to find yeah i had to google it and be like where does does the ordinary ship to America and I found out they do not but Sephora does carry the ordinary so bye but anyways I did want to try them on their website it's pretty confusing because they have a lot of products and all depending on how your skin type is and what you want it for it can get very confusing but I hope this video helps you guys out so you can figure out what's best for you I did need a new moisturizer. Again, the moisturizer I was using was between that, the crop, and this, and I've been switching with the aloe vera grisly. <sighs> I feel like I shouldn't be using this too. This has fragrance in it. I feel like this has drying stuff in it. It's just not natural or organic. I don't know if the ordinary says they are organic, so yeah. But it looks like this. And all it said it had olive vera in it and I was all for it. I got it at my local grocery store at Weiss. Yes, that place. But yeah, so let's look at the ingredients on this and see about this. This is their one of their moisturizers, smallest size it comes in. This is called the Natural Moisturizing Factor HA. So it's a surface hydration formulator. And it has amino acids, dermal lipids, and hyaluric acid, hyaluric acid. My old moisturizer, the crop, had hyaluric acid in it. Well, hyaluric acid is very good for you. I want to say it's anti-aging, and you should just put that in your skincare routine. Sorry, I'm looking for the English. Oh, so it's fragrance-free. I love that. I love things that don't have fragrance in it. Fragrance dries you out. Kind of beware of putting fragrance on your face you guys is just a big no-no in my opinion the ingredients the first ingredient is aqua this doesn't seem like it's natural as well i hope they don't test on animals i feel like they do because i don't see the bunny and that's another thing i have a problem with yikes <laughs> i should really do more reading but their packaging is really cool has the o on it I love the packaging. Oh, this is so cute. Really, 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 really cute. It claims that you have to apply after serums as needed for effective uh, surface hydration. I really do like that. I want to try this on first, but maybe I got some serums, so maybe I should look at those first. <laughs> Then I did get something else. This is the Ordinary 100% Plant Derived Squalene. It is pure squalene. That's what it's claiming. It's a lightweight plant-derived solution to support healthy hydration. Squalene oil is claimed to be a, another alternative for natural skin oil production. Just like, not rosehip oil, but just like, oh, la, 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 la. It, just, I, I, it has to come to mind, but it, it's, it acts just like that other oil. I will list that here if I can remember it. This is a 30 ml. I believe this ranged for five to six dollars, and I think this was seven to nine dollars. I will link the prices. They were really good prices. So it says um, apply a few drops daily or as needed to an entire face, ideally after water based treatments. If irritation occurs, cease use and consult a Physician, use only as directed on unbroken skin. And it's fragrance free. Oh, I just broke the packaging. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is such cute packaging. I love it. Absolutely do love it. That's how it goes. So it's in a UV pro protective packaging. All oils should come this way so the light doesn't come in and kill it. I'm going to try it on now. It doesn't have a smell. And what are the ingredients? 
but I guess the ingredient is like pure yeah so it's pure that okay so I'm gonna put this on first I'm gonna put it on my hand just to see how it feels there's nothing on my hand at the moment not at all I just want to see how that feels that feels nice That's really soft though. Compared to this hand, my hands are soft in general, but wow, yeah, that's that's soft. Then I got, I'm familiar with this oil. I love, 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 love rosehip oil. This is like the best oil ever, but this is 100% organic cold press rosehip oil. It's daily support for all skin types. This, this one doesn't say what type of skin type this is for, but I'm assuming it's not for all skin types. So I'm guessing this to be for dry skin types. But rosehip oil is like, uh, it's like a rescuer. Like if you have marks or anything like that, it will just heal your skin. That's definitely what's it, what it is for. I love rosehip oil. I used to always get the cold press rosehip oil of Acure, but Acure is a little pricey. I understand because they're organic and they're cruelty free, but I, I'm just not paying that I just don't want to pay that much for that little much of a bottle when this here is like half the price so I believe that was like running for $18 where this is like $9 sorry Okir, I love you guys but no so it says apply once a day to the face ideally at bedtime after application of water-based treatments so I would always um, put this one after. I'd always put this around the eye area because this would definitely help this out. And I feel like I do have a marks. I'm pretty sad about that and I'm hoping this will work. So you never know. We'll, we'll come back and see if it did. <sighs> yeah, it has like that seedy smell. This is like bringing back memories. I believe this makes the skin really soft too as well. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Oh, that smells so... It's like, I like it. It smells like natural and earthy. Oh yeah. My skin's loving this right now. It's like... This is with it, without it. Got a nice little natural glow. And it just feels so much nicer. Oh. Now I'm going to try this one on top of these and see how I like the feel of it so it's fragrance free which I love got like that nice texture I'm really liking the way it makes my skin feel then I have the Hourglass Ville. I'm pretty disappointed in the Hourglass, but I do like, I, I think I've tried this before. I've tried uh, something from Hourglass. Yes, I did. So Hourglass had like a creamy formula of highlighter and a creamy formula of contour. And I got that and I really, really loved it. I like their packaging overall. I just think it's chic and very stylish. But I always wanted to try this, and this came with that free coupon code I received with Sephora. I will link it. It should be still available. You guys should definitely check it out if you guys, um, you know, are shopping on Sephora.com. I love translucent setting powders. My favorite one I'm using at the moment is Laura Mercy A. I love Laura Mercy A, but my bank account don't. <laughs> Um, so I was happy and stoked to see that I was getting this for free. But it is with a purchase of, I think, $35 or more. So that's how much that comes. I just love the packaging. I'm pretty disappointed in Hourglass because their new highlighters, uh, they just, they're too white for me. They're too light and I just can't wear it. And I wish they had a little bit of a more highlighter accommodating to tanner and browner darker shades 
because I would love to play with those but I've always wanted to try those highlighters that have like the marble in it they're gorgeous but they're not for me I was looking for a new highlighter and I I was in Sephora and I that was not it I was like looking at theirs and I was like no that was not it for sure So I cannot wait to try this out. I'm not going to try it right now um, because it's closed and sealed, but I, I'm pretty excited to try this um, Hourglass. I did like their highlighter cream kit, and I'm excited to try this. And last but not least, I have one more thing. I was like, treat yourself, and I love this brand. I talk about her all the time. And girl, if you're watching, you should sponsor me. He he he. But I wanted a fall color that can transition to the winter time, and I think this will be a perfect thing for it. And that's why I chose this. Ah, Fenty Beauty. I love Fenty Beauty. I will be having another video about this i will be doing swatches and first impressions and how i feel about it so you guys should definitely stay tuned for that well that is the end of my sephora haul just to wrap it up for you guys i ordered it last week on a tuesday and it got to me i believe on a thursday so shout out to you sephora you guys really did that and it told me it was supposed to come on friday so it came in a good amount of time i'm gonna order it Hmm. oh okay so i actually ordered it on the 21st and it got to me on thursday so that was like two days shipping and i didn't even have to pay extra for that shout out to you guys sephora you guys always give me good customer service when i'm there that's why i always stick in my loyalties to you guys well thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video like comment and subscribe and if you want to find out when I post new videos, hit that bell twice so you can figure out when I'm going to post another video, which is hopefully frequently, frequently often. I was going to say freakingly awesome. But see you guys later in my another video. Bye, you guys.